Former Yorkshire cricketer Azim Rafiq has fought back tears as he detailed to British MPs the widespread racism within English cricket. The whistleblower said standing up to racist colleagues and teammates cost him his career. However good Azim Rafiq was, and he was good. Pull him! Rafiq gets his man at last. His biggest victory has been finding the courage to call out racism, sharing what he calls cricket's open secret. Felt isolated, humiliated at times, um, constant use of the word packy. For him, it was a culture that started aged 15. My first instance uh, of drinking, I actually got pinned down at my local cricket club um, and red wine got poured down my throat. How old were uh, you? 15. 15, you're a Muslim, 15. 15 year old, um, I got um, literally uh, down my throat. His former teammate Gary Balance has already admitted using the P word towards Rafiq. Balance was also accused of being one of those who would use the name Kevin for any non white player at Yorkshire. The culture at Headingley was one where racism was normal, according to Rafiq. And that's why his teammate and England Test captain Joe Root said last week that he never saw it. So then why did he stay in that culture for so long? When I lost my son, I went, you know what, hold on a minute. I've seen other players who have family tragedies and get support beyond measure. And I've just carried my son from the hospital to the graveyard. And how I'm getting treated here is not right. And to me, it became very clear that even myself, that I'd been looking the other way. Of those who have resigned at Headingley in the last few weeks, Roger Hutton is the only one who faced the questions. The former chairman was asked if Yorkshire County Cricket Club is or was institutionally racist. There's been a substantial amount of thoughtlessness and ignorance, a reluctance to apologise, a reluctance to see Azim as the victim and a reluctance to put into place the, uh, uh, um, the recommendations, which I think are, are really important in this process. That sounds to me like you're edging towards the word yes. You were chair for 18 months yeah, yes. and, yes. and, and uh, you've resigned. I, I fear that it falls within that definition. Right. This was hiding in plain sight in a number of cricket clubs around the country. And even if white players and coaches weren't making the comments themselves, they weren't challenging them either. And this now expands beyond Yorkshire. Middlesex here at Lords have said that they would like a former player who Azim Rafiq has said was racially abused during his time here to come forward and speak to them in confidence. The England and Wales Cricket Board did acknowledge that they still have work to do. And this is why. I don't want my son to go anywhere near cricket. This is how this moment will be measured. Has what this man has said enough to drive out a culture that has festered in cricket for generations. Tom Parmenter, Sky News.